Good morning, and thank you for coming to the view from my window. It's a little after 9 in the morning, so this is a late start. And I'm going to have to sort of point the camera uh, south, or I guess north. I get so turned around being an east coaster to avoid the morning glare. As you can see the strong shadows that it's casting over here in the big hole. But I guess we can spend a lot of the time looking at the, the, the glory and beauty that is the Montecito. Back off a little bit so we can see it like that. There it is. I had a lot go on, going on yesterday. Um, I woke up in the morning and I was aghast appalled with myself that I'd flaked on my psychiatrist. And, uh, you know, she's a really great doctor. She's done so much to help me. And it, uh, you know, really made me feel like shit. And, you know, just worried that, you know, she might say, listen, I don't think I can work with you. And I have to send you to someone else. Which is my worst fear, too. Because she's such a great doctor. And there, I don't think there are a lot of people who can measure up to her. So I guess enough of me singing the praises of my uh, psychiatrist. I guess it's a very Woody Allen-esque uh, entry, posting, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the fellow who is... Uh, the first balcony. I think he's on the first balcony. He and I had a chat yesterday about his blaring radio, and uh, he apologized and promised to turn it down. He said he wasn't aware of the effect, which I find a little specious. But at least he's turned it down. Oh, and uh, here comes the ticket guy. Thank you for giving me one of my greatest two of my greatest uh, postings. Uh, I'm in a lot of pain all of a sudden. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this entry short. Um, Robin and I, I don't think we have any plans today. I'll have to double check with her. Obviously, uh, I'm not the best person to uh, discuss uh, agendas, obviously. You know, some of these shadows, if you look at them, they do look sort of like, you know, people. Or they sort of, these poles, you know, I know it's very, very abstract, but they kind of remind me of the statues on Eastern or Easter Island. You know, they're they're identical and they're spaced a certain way and uh, they seem very immutable and permanent. And then you could look at their little, uh, the rebar poking out the top of the, their heads as a little pretty little hats or maybe hairdos. Thinking of the dreadlock philosophy, the uh, Rastafarian philosophy. <sighs> that, yeah, that, some point, you know, not all of the Rastafarians believe this, but some do, that uh, during the second coming, when Haile Selassie comes down from heaven, he's going to uh, grab them by their uh, dreadlocks and pull them up into, the, up into heaven. So these could be, you know, Rastafarians who have been faithful, orthodox Rastafarians who are being pulled up into heaven. All kinds of um, uh, interpretations. Well, once again, I'd like to thank you for coming by. This is a lot longer than I thought it would be. Uh, uh, God bless you all. Bye-bye.